Listen to the birds awakening the day. I love the rising of the sun and Hello everyone, my name is Reggie with RMBIG and welcome to the Revitalize Hope webpage. And today, I just want to talk to you about it ain't easy. And I know that's not proper English, but the fact is, it ain't easy. It's not easy. It isn't easy. Life is not easy. And I know that, you know, when you're trying to encourage yourself, you're trying to encourage other people, and sometimes you're just looking for encourage, encouragement in general, that it can be tough. I mean, because we're dealing with so much right now. I mean, outside of everything that's going on with politics and all the other stuff in the outside world, just the stuff in your own life is enough. And for some people, it's like, listen, you know, I'm trying to get myself together. I'm trying to deal with my own issues, whether it's medical, whether it's uh, money, finances, bills. You know, it could be that you may have a loved one that has been in prison or a child that's gone astray, a relationship that's on the brink. You know, when we have all this stuff going on, you know, you, you come to realize that life is not easy. It's simply just not. And there is no answer. You just got to keep pushing through. You just got to keep doing everything you can and just tackling one thing at a time to get to where you want to be. And along the way, you're going to lose some people. You're going to lose some friends. You might lose a relationship here or there. But in the end, you got to look at the big picture. You got to look at the fact that if you're losing a friend, if you're losing a relationship, are you losing something that was actually propelling you forward? Are you losing something that was actual feeding you energy and motivation uh, and giving you emotional and spiritual support? You know, that's one thing. But if you're losing something that's not feeding you and not giving you anything, but just more so draining you, you know, you have to let that go. Like I said, life is not easy. And when you're carrying excess weight, you're carrying excess pressure from, you know, the jobs and everything else that's going on, you know, it, it just makes it more challenging. That's why you have so many people today who feel like they just want to give up. You got so many people that just get tired. You know, when you really look at the big picture and you see how many people are actually struggling because a lot of the people that you sit and talk to every day, who you, who, well, let me put it like this. There are a lot of people who give the impression that their life is much better than what it is. So when you look at them, you're thinking, wow, this person is doing good. That should be me. Why am I still where I'm at? You know, just understand that everybody's going through something. Now, they may not be going through to the extent that you're going through, but you got to make it through your trials. And, you know, nobody else can do it for you. It's up to you. Now, you may have some people that step in every now and then and may give you a helping hand and kind of lift you. If you got friends or family members like that, they can do that without judging you and without, you know, throwing it in your face down the line. That's good. That's good because that's how it's supposed to be. But in a lot of cases these days, you know, when somebody, you know, if you do something, if somebody does something for you once, they're expecting something down the line twice. You know, so it, it, it is tough. But I want you to know that there is no such thing as a perfect life for anybody. I mean, look at the celebrities that are committing suicide. You know, when Robin Williams committed suicide, I never would have thought it. Anthony Bourdain, I never would have thought that these guys actually was considering committing suicide. I'm like, you know, both, you know, Robin Williams was this huge movie star. Anthony Bourdain was this television, you know, he was this guy huge, traveling the world, getting paid to travel and eat different foods in different places. So you have to learn that, you know, what other people's level of happiness may not be as happy as you think it is, but you have to find your level of happiness. You have to find your place of peace, your place of joy in this world where you are being fulfilled, where you are feeling like you don't want to give up. You don't want to let go. 
So that's why even now, I know it's hard. I know you're probably struggling. I know you're probably going through emotionally. You're probably on a roller coaster. I've been there. I've been in those situations. You know, I've been sleeping in my car, sleeping on the street, living, you know, day to day, you know, with no money. I'm telling you, if you knew the true backstory of me, oh my God, I'm telling you, I, man. But, but that's what I'm saying, you know, you, you can do it. You can make it through it. And I know, I know, I know, looking ahead is like, wow, there's no way I'm gonna clear this obstacle. There is no way these dark days are gonna pass. They will. For everybody, the distance to get to the sunlight is just different. You just gotta start taking those steps forward to push so when you get to yours. And when you do get to yours, don't be afraid to reach back, but don't go back, but don't be afraid to help somebody else come out of theirs. It can be a kind word, it can be motivation. You can be an example yourself of your situation in life, where you came from. So it's not always about money. Sometimes it's just about time and it's just about being a good person and letting that show. So with that being said, hang in there, don't give up, stay positive, stay focused, and remember, I know that it's tough, but you can get through it. You can get through it. And what I really suggest you do is sometimes just go back and just go on the internet and just look up the backstories of people like Sidney Poitier, Shania Twain, and just kind of read where they came from. Shania Twain has a very interesting story. You would never think that she went through what she went through to come up. Sidney Poitier was another one. I mean, phenomenal actor. I mean, in history, he's created so much when it comes to the entertainment and movie industry. But read the story before Sidney became who he is. It's amazing. Oprah Winfrey, that's another one. So. Take time to realize that where you see people at now with the big cars and the big houses, you can be that too. You can have that too. But take your time because it's not always about the big houses, it's not always about the money. It's about you, your heart, your soul, and your mind being where you need to be, where, where your place is in life. All right? Hey, I don't want to make this video too long. I can go on forever and ever and ever talking about this. But you know what? Y'all stay strong. Stay up. Keep focused. Keep walking. Keep the Almighty first. And I'll now see you next time. Some days you may feel blue. Lord, trust in your greatness to see you through. Don't look back. It's not the end. Give life your best and I know you can be You see, as a friend I'm here for you You should know that As a friend I'm here for you uh -uh. Here I stand with you Wishing you the best in all you do Always look for the breeze of love The breeze of love here I stand with you, wishing you the best in all you do. Always look for the breeze of love, calm and gentle from above. Na na na, no way. Ooh, yeah. Calm and gentle. Here I stand with you, yeah.